Health Cabinet Secretary Mutahi Kagwe has admitted that Kenya has been importing substandard personal protective equipment, exposing hundreds of health workers in the country. The Health Cabinet Secretary is now confident that Kenya can now rely on homegrown solutions to help protect the frontline responders moving forward. At a time the world tries to best arm itself against an enemy that has claimed over 330,000 lives, Kenya is getting reinforcements after finding out that the frontliners had been gravely exposed. I also tried to get the ones we had imported tested by KEBS and they failed. So the PPEs that we are making locally are superior to the PPEs that we were importing before. It is just thanks to God that our doctors have not been falling sick. Some of these uh, imported PPEs have been really below standards. The national government has further promised to help county governments employ 5,000 county health workers to boost their efforts. If you see somebody in your area who has been to Mombasa lately, Nairobi and other places, you should raise the alarm. I am not saying that you start lynching anybody or beating them up, no, 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 but just raise the alarm. As various solutions are being discovered in the country, Madagascar has been persuading African countries to adopt its COVID-19 organic drug, which it claims cures the virus. But C.S. Kagwe isn't quite swallowing that pill. So, no, we are not using anything that is not approved by the Kenya government, and we do not want to experiment with our people. The last thing I am going to do in this country is to allow anybody with some any form of conclusion to come and profess that these things are working before they are tested by our people, before they have done through thorough tests in our laboratories, so that we agree that uh, this is this amounts to medicine. Kagwe accompanied by top health ministry officials toward the Machakos COVID-19 mass screening and isolation center and Machakos level 5 hospital to assess their level of preparedness. I would like to get more support in PPEs and others, but we've given out tenders. We are getting 10 more ventilators, we are getting more PPEs, we are getting equipment and things to ensure that we are okay. And uh, we've contracted our vocational training colleges to manufacture masks. My plan is... The national government has encouraged other county governments to strengthen its preparedness and response capacity as the community transmission rate increases. In Nairobi County, Kibra constituency is emerging as an area of particular concern with possible stronger measures put in place. There's an additional eight cases today in uh, Kibera, and that is something worrying considering the, the population that is in Kibera. Vincent Odur, NTV.